When gunshots rang out at the National War Memorial in Ottawa on Wednesday, many ran for cover, others ran to help. They did whatever they could to try to save Corporal Nathan Cirillo's life, to try to calm him and reassure him. They were among the last to see him alive, and tonight they're telling their stories. Here's Tom Clark. These were some of the first images of the attack. Five total strangers had rushed to the aid of the slain guardsman, Corporal Nathan Cirillo. And I kept telling him he was loved and his parents loved him and his family loved him mm -hmm. and that we loved him mm -hmm. and that his the military loved him. This was the first time that Barbara Winters and Margaret Leary had met since that day. They had come to the West Block studio above the war memorial to tell their stories. There was never a question of I can't, um, I'm scared, just the singular focus on Nathan. But it was as they left the interview that the most incredible things began to happen. <laughs> Out of the crowd, they spotted one of the other five, Conrad Malkowski. And he told them that a fourth member of their group, Martin Magnan, was at the Cenotaph. Another emotional reunion and another memory relived. Not a whole lot was going through my mind. I just wanted to listen, look around, pay attention, and it's just a whole feeling of like, let's keep it together and let's, let's, let's get them through this. They stood together when suddenly dignitaries began to arrive. The ceremonial guard was being reinstated in front of the top military brass and in front of the prime minister who came over to thank them for their heroism. They haven't found their fifth member yet, but there's a bond between them all. They couldn't save Corporal Cirillo's life but they all know why they tried. It's our duty. They look after us, and we were able for 10 minutes to look after them. Tom Clark, Global News, Ottawa.